Hey guys, Redneck Mini 14 here. So I started this reloading bench project a couple years ago, and uh, I've kind of been going off and on on it um, because you know some things come up and um, financial problems come in the way, and I just you know put a bunch of guns on layaway. So then that uh, takes away from what I do with other things, and I kind of have this this problem where I start a project and I don't finish it until like, you know, a few years pass. And anyway, um, I'm pretty much to the point where it's done. I mean, it's been pretty much done for a while. I just haven't done a video with it yet. So um, if you haven't seen the original video or the, you know, a couple videos that I have on it, um, basically I bought this um, shelving unit for $40 on clearance from Walmart and I set it up to where it was side by side like this that way I could have uh, one side be a reloading bench and then the other side I could put a vise on it and uh, it could be uh, for just a workbench and uh, it's kind of cluttered right now because I it, it doubles as a workbench and it's kind of where I put all my um, my power tools like you know I got a bunch of Makita tools and a, I got a, a nail gun down there and uh, I just got a bunch of tools and uh, bits and blades and everything. I uh, got a little work light down there. So I got just kind of a bunch of stuff sitting on it and I'm kind of just um, reorganizing everything, trying to get everything where I want it to be. But I started off, we'll go on this end. This is the first side that I actually finished. And uh, this is the workbench portion. So I don't have, I don't, the shelving unit only had five shelves so you have three here and two here obviously the top two i secured um, some some plywood on and made the, those the tabletop so on this side i only have the bottom shelf there's nothing in the middle um, at some point i might take some some two by fours or something and kind of construct another shelf just so i have another shelf but this is the workbench portion i have this little this little Irwin vise here, um, just a real cheap vise I got from Lowe's, and uh, I've used this to put together an AR. I've used it to take apart several guns and work on them. So uh, this has come in quite handy. I think this was like thirty dollars or less, so it wasn't that expensive at all. And uh, have it secured with just four bolts, um, so that's. You know, pretty inexpensive vice, and uh, it does work pretty well for what I need it to do. Um, if ever I put a gun in it, unless it's like an AR where I can have a, a vice block in it, I just put this little towel in there and then use that to keep the grips from actually damaging the rifle or the shotgun. Um, but then I also have this little mat here uh, for cleaning guns, and this is where I you know, take apart lots of guns and clean them. Again, I have some some power tools and stuff here, but I have my um, my toothbrushes there, and then my rem oil and my hops nine, and just all that stuff. And then, of course, the bottom shelf, which has a bunch of power tools on it right now. Let me come to this side. Um, this is the reloading bench side, and again, I have a bunch of tools down here. I have. Uh, some boxes and some reloading trays for whenever I get to reloading. I'll probably start with 9mm. Um, and of course on the top here we have the plywood that I painted, or that I stained rather. And then we have the Lee, oh, what is this called? I think it's called like the Lee Challenger Breech Lock Press or something like that. So you have these little, these little bushings here. You have a little button and yeah, the bushing can twist out. It's hard to do with one hand. Um, but that's where you put your dies, and I have four sets of dies. Um, I have enough bushings to do one full set of dies, so I'll probably start off with nine millimeter, because uh, I got uh, four dies. I just gotta set those up. And then I have the um, priming uh, tool. What is this one called? Got a lot of manuals here. Um, well, there's the press, anyway. I don't remember what it's called, but it's just this, this priming tool here that mounts on the side and 
you can uh, use this little thing here. Um, that's where your primers go in and you just you know push it in on the downstrokes. So uh, I thought that was pretty good for a single stage press. Um, one other thing I have to do is I have to mount my uh, powder measure. Um, I gotta get a, a block of wood uh, to mount the powder measure. Um, so I gotta get that set up. But other than that, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty close to being set up. Again, I gotta set up the dies and uh, the powder measure. I have a scale somewhere and uh, some calipers and I pretty much have everything I need to actually start reloading. Um, at least reloading 9mm. In fact, I have enough supplies to actually reload uh, 200 rounds of 9mm right now. Um, just got to get all that set up and then we will be in business. So, that's the reloading slash workbench that I've been like, I don't know, two, three years in the making. I think it turned out pretty well. Again, have to do a few more things to it, but it's basically ready and I uh, have to kind of clean it up and get um, you know, get all my reloading and ammunition stuff on this side and eventually I'll get another shelf put on that side and um, get all my tools over there and just, you know, whatever I need to, to store on it. So, that's my reloading bench. Subscribe to my channel, like me on Facebook. I'm Redneck Mini 14 and until next time, be safe.